In this video, we are going to see a practical test of Game Guardian versus Lucky Patcher. We will see how both Game Guardian and Lucky Patcher work in the same offline and online games. But before that, please remember one important thing. This video is for educational purposes only. Use both these apps only for ethical purposes. Using Game Guardian and Lucky Patcher on other games without permission is illegal. Okay, let's get into the video. First, let's see how Game Guardian works in an online game. I launch Game Guardian and start it. Now I open an online game. I open this game with a guest ID and play it once to generate coins. Okay, the game is finished. Now I have 5,000 coins. Okay, let's open Game Guardian and search for the coins. 5,000. Many values appeared in the search, so I will collect a few more coins. Now I have 5,300 coins. Now let's enter the coins in Game Guardian and refine the search. Now you can see that there are only five values left. So I click here and change these coins. Okay, let's see if the coins change. I will collect a few coins and check if they change. As soon as I collect the coins, the value I entered in Game Guardian gets added. Let's see if I can use these coins to buy something. When I click this icon, the coins reverted to their original state. The value I entered in Game Guardian has disappeared. So this time, to prevent the value from disappearing, I will freeze the coin value. So now, I will collect the coins again, enter them in Game Guardian, and freeze the value. Now, as you can see, my coins are perfectly frozen. Even when I click the icon below, the coins remain unchanged. Okay, now let's use these coins to enter a game match. As you can see, as soon as I click to enter the game match, it automatically exits. I will try again in another match. It is doing the same thing again. I cannot enter any match. Even though a large amount of coins is displayed in the game, we are unable to use them. So friends, now you can understand that Game Guardian does not perfectly work in online games. Now let's see how Lucky Patcher works in the same online game. First, I'll launch Lucky Patcher and patch this online game step by step. This process took me quite a lot of time. Okay, now the online game has been successfully patched. Now I'm launching the game. I'm enabling internet access now. The game has logged in perfectly. Okay, now let's try to buy something to see if the patch works correctly. All right, I'm buying these coins now. As soon as I click, the patch should appear correctly. Let's see if the purchase goes through by clicking yes. It's showing a transaction error. Let's try again. The same error is showing up. So friends, you can now understand that Lucky Patcher does not work on online games. Okay, now you would have understood how Game Guardian and Lucky Patcher work in online games. Now, let's see how they work in offline games. We'll start with Game Guardian first. In offline games, Game Guardian works quite well. Now let's see how Lucky Patcher works in the same game.
Lucky Patcher also works well in this offline game. Okay friends, now you would have understood how Game Guardian and Lucky Patcher work in offline and online games, and how much time it takes for these two apps to work on games. So comment below which of these two apps you think is the best. That's how we'll know which of these two apps wins. Okay, don't forget to comment. Bye.